Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? We're going to start with opening up Illustrator and then making sure that our Canvas page is open. And step one says open up 3 slash 9 and save it as reshape path. So first we click on it to get it to download and hit open. Hopefully that's opened it up in Illustrator. If it's all white, you need you know you need to go to view and then preview. But mine opened up just fine. So now I need to save it as reshape paths in my H drive. I've saved it as reshape path. Hit save. Hit OK. And we're ready to move on. Step two says click the anchor point tool. The anchor point tool is behind the pen tool. So when you opened your image, it probably looked like that. So we're going to click here, hold it with our mouse, and go down to the anchor point tool. Number three says drag the bottom path segment as many times as necessary to align it to the blue line. So we're going to click on the path and we're going to drag it down to try and get it to match. And we'll go up a little bit to try and get it to match this little path segment the best that we can. This process that we're doing is new to Adobe Creative Cloud. Drag the right segment to align it to the blue line. So I'm going to press and hold the space bar to get that hand tool to come up. And now I'm going to take this segment here and I'm going to drag it up and over, go up again to try and get it to match this blue line the best that I can. That looks pretty good. Okay, moving on. Drag the top segment up until you're up. And as you're dragging, press and hold the shift key and keep dragging. So I'm going to click and drag, and now I'm going to press the shift key. Oh, nice. So if you hit that, try and hit that shift key, and you can see that you can make some adjustments like that. Position the path so that it resembles figure 95 on page 362 of your book. Okay, so the final step of this project is to get this area over here. And then once again, I'm going to start to move this over. You can occasionally press and hold shift and move it back. Once you think you have it aligned as nice as possible, then you are finished with this project. Make sure you save your work, file save, and then we're ready to move on. We're ready to move on to page 363. I'm going to go ahead and go over to Canvas. And it says open up 3 slash 10. I'm going to click that right here. And then go to open. It's opened up in my Illustrator. And then you're going to save this as pencil tool. Save it as pencil tool and hit save and OK. Set the fill color to none. So my fill forward is forward and I'm going to click on none. And then set the stroke to black. So you can click on your stroke to make it forward. Your weight of your stroke should be two points. Double click the pencil tool. So our pencil tool is located behind the shaper tool. You may have your pencil tool already showing up. If you don't see it, then just drag, go down to where you see that pencil tool and click it. And now we're going to double click to open up this dialog box. Make sure that we can, we can drag this all the way over to smooth. Okay. Um, keep selected should be marked. And then edit selected paths should also be marked. Within six pixels should be marked. And hit OK. All right, we're going to continue to the next page. 
you need to look at page 364 of your book. It says trace the first half circle slowly and then release the mouse button. So we're going to trace this slowly and then release the mouse button. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. Overall, the path is very jagged and rough, but when you release the mouse button, the path is smoothed out as shown in figure 97. The path is created with the minimum number, number of anchor points necessary. Float over the end point and drag a second circle. Because you kept select because you kept selected option is activated, the secondary segment you draw is connected to the first to create a single path. Finish drawing the top path. I'm going to press and hold the space bar and then keep going. And there we are. Zoom in on the middle path on the artboard. Trace the first circle. Don't li lift your stylus or your mouse tool. So I'm going to stay right here. I'm still pressing with my mouse button. Then press shift and draw a straight horizontal line so that your path resembles figure 98. Release shift and then continue to draw the round line. Press shift again, draw that straight line, release shift, and draw the round line. Step 11 at the top of page 365 of your book, it says zoom in on the path at the bottom of the artboard. Then select it with the selection tool. Click the pencil tool. Then draw a path from a point on the left segment to a point on the right segment. And release. As shown on figure 99, because the edit selected paths option is activated, the object is edited and redrawn with a new path. Save your work. Then close the pencil tool project.